That nice defensive play by Jim Herrick. He's taking it in the corner. Let's see if they can put together that uh, deliberate offense, as I mentioned. I think they need to uh, to get that play rolling again to get their confidence going. Actually, I think it'll be a bit easier from this direction, Buzz, in that any wind there is uh, is behind them now. It's a light one, but it is a factor. It turns over some of the, the shots that are that are up and rising in the air. This should keep the passes down a bit for them. It's just a light breeze, but it might be a factor. A nice give and go there by Jim Herrick and Leif Larson from Boston. And they keep that defensive set up moving down the field. That's important. They're doing a nice job of that. They're edging up toward an 87% level on their exchanges now. It's starting to improve, and these passes are going to help them. There's a penetration. Dropped over the top. Dropped over the top of the defenders and got that good penetration. There's another. Showing them the upside downer. Might mention that it's illegal to have double coverage on the thrower. Only one player can be defending against that thrower. So when you see that, you'll know it's illegal. He drops it off. And sometimes that can give them a fresh start because it gives them a bit more space to work in. They've used it to their advantage, even though they haven't penetrated. He's shown a lot of patience here. Drops over the top to stick. How's the catch by Bo? Nice catch there by Boston. They were very deliberate on that whole offensive movement. I think that's very key at this point. They have to continue to be patient and work it down the field. Look for those openings. Who caught that buzz? I thought that was stick. No, uh, that's Bo from uh, Wellesley, Massachusetts. Another pull from Boston. You notice that turnaround delivery that uh, is used by the Boston team and Herrick on their their pulls. That's a, a rather new development in the field events, the turnaround delivery in distance throwing. And it's, hey, there's the turnover. Nice defensive play by Hunter McKay there. With the score of seven to five, Boston seems to be picking up some intensity here. Bill Adams with Guido doing a nice job staying in the middle. Burrow gets a tremendous amount of hustle out of its front men. It's a very hard job. They're always following the disc. Right now, though, I, I think they have him scrambling. I think that Boston is controlling the situation, and they get a goal for it. That's a goal by Steve Vaccaro. Nice goal by Boston. Again, very deliberate. Moving it up to 7-6 here. Boston is making a comeback. I think we have to see an adjustment on the Burroughs part. I think the key to this success has been that uh, Boston has been flooding that front zone and sending a man through, sucking the middle man across and then flooding it again with another player. There's another turnover. Well, we're seeing some defensive pressure here by Boston. Well, the, the tide is turning here for just a little while. I think the Burroughs a little shook. They're not used to seeing that kind of penetration of their zone and it's, it's starting to show on their offense also. Here's the formation again. There's the crosser. Dropping it over the top. Uh, dropped by Boston. That's a tough one. We have a player down on, on the defensive play there by Glassboro. I think they've gone to the observer with a question. I believe we had an offensive call there of a foul. That is a catching foul. Uh, the, the player who was receiving it uh, felt that he was fouled as he was making that catch. They get the... 
the guidelines for that catching situation is that uh, no one can press into the other player's space that they have just by virtue of their position. Also, you cannot establish yourself with the intention of blocking or picking. So the people can go straight up for the disc, but they can't be draped over the other player or hitting them as they go up. Sometimes that call is one of the more difficult ones to make in the game. So Glassboro does still have possession. They did make that defensive turnover. Now's the time, really, for the Borough to reestablish their offense. Show that patented control game to move it up. That's Brian Ecker from Glassboro. Seems to keep, to keep control of that disc out there. He's new for them. He wasn't a member of their championship team last year. It's just amazing how they've developed so many of these new players so quickly. That's Frankie Bono there, another key player in their offensive movement. Frankie was a key member of last year's squad also, and he and Timba essentially have been the, the keystones of this new team. Ah, excellent catch. Trailing edge, leaping dive, goal. That was a nice catch by Brian Ecker. He really is key out there. That was a beautiful catch. Neil Liddy put that one into him. That took them 11 passes to get uh, down the field. And I think maybe the intensity is coming back a bit with that success. It was a long, controlled drive and, and an exciting catch in the end zone. You know, Dan, I'm kind of surprised to see how open a game of, the, of offensive movement Glassboro is playing. They normally play a lot shorter game, but the field is, seems to be open for them. They're making the longer throws than uh, we've been accustomed to seeing from Glassboro. Much different than last year against the Condors. Most uh, definitely. I think we've seen more long passes here just in this portion of the game than we saw from them all of last year. Nice pull off by Glassboro. A lot of height on that one. Over the top. Over the top to Evans. They recovered very nicely on that. Toby Lou handling the disc. Back to the middle. The front of the zone is not functioning right now. Can tell it's not working when you see that the throwers are uncovered for such a length of time after they receive the disc. And they get a chance to take a full look at the field when they've got that black shirt right in their face. That doesn't happen. The zone does stop a lot of those throwing lanes. You're not allowed to get a lot of many of those passes off, but Boston seems to be moving into the middle and finding what there is available at this point. Their middleman seems to be handling the situation a little better than he was on the previous possession. He's letting that he's letting that lead man slip through without following him completely and letting them pick it up, letting the corner man pick him up. And if you'd like more information, feel free to call 427-4611. And forcing to the middle. Somehow, I think this is a key possession. And a goal. A goal. Bob Evans to Keith Armstrong. Very deliberate play there by Boston. That was impressive. It really was. They they tested them, came back, tested them, and finally stuck it in. 